You guys want a really fun workout that not only cranks up your trunk, but also gets the hips at the same time. A combination of step back overhead presses with what I call skier swings while being attached into a band and using dumbbells is a great way to do it. Let me show you how we set it up. I got my red band attached back here, so I'm going to step into that. Now what that's going to do is it's going to be applied to my hips. So what that's going to do is automatically create that hip hinging effect that I'm looking for to engage my glutes. Now we're going to go ahead and we're vertically going to load from the top with dumbbells. So we're going to go ahead and put them up here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do drop back presses, alternating sides, and then we're going to go to skier swings, which is really going to engage my trunk, but most importantly, really get my hips activated. Now, the cool thing is we're going to go ahead and use a horizontal vector with a vertical vector and then we're going to incorporate movement to increase momentum. So we're getting everything. And because we're adding that step into it, ground reaction forces are going to come through loud and clear. Let's go ahead and let me take you through one set of 10 of both exercises so you see how the transition works. I typically go ahead and do a 30 second on, 15 second off, 20 second on, 10 second off. And I typically like to go ahead and do about 12 rounds of this. When you're done, it's going to be a real crank fest. Your trunk's going to be super activated. Your hips are going to be super activated. Your lungs are going to be cranked up because it's going to be a cardiovascular strength training workout. And guess what? The whole time, you're teaching your, your body how to do one of the most important movements in the entire world, which is hip hinging. Let's go after it. So I got my dumbbells down here. Got my band hooked up. We're going to go swings first. So I picked the dumbbells up. And again, these are skier swings, so we're going to get both dumbbells going at the same time. Really work it, rocking through your hips. Push through that band, but no arching at the top. Squeeze that trunk tight at the top. Rock it up there. Let's go. Let's get a couple more. Good. And I pop them straight up and hold them there. Keep my body under tension for 10 seconds. Now I'm ready to go ahead. Drop back presses. I'm going to go five on each side. You want to go neutral position? Fine. Go neutral position. Drop backs. Let's go one more on each side. Now, look how easy it is. You don't need a transition. Just drop from one to the other. You want to really work hard? This is a great five minute finisher. Right here. Finish it up here. Right back into presses. Man, I'm telling you, huge, huge heart rate accelerator. One more. Look at that. Right back into swings, and you're on your way. Guys, you can do it a couple different ways. You can go 2010, you can go 3015, or eliminate the transition totally and just go from one to the other. And I'm telling you, it will accelerate your heart rate, accelerate your metabolic system, burn some serious fat, and in the meantime, we're working trunk, we're working hips, we're working shoulders, and guess what? Because we're moving, we're bringing in ground reaction. Because the bands pull us back, we got increased momentum. Because we got the dumbbells, we got increased gravity work. You're getting all three. Enjoy yourself.